All right, we back. A few technical difficulties, but we're going to get through this uh, situation here. Yep, we back. All right, let's get it. Let's go, Ethan. Jesus Christ. Hang man. I didn't get the first part, so we lacking part of the address. Hopefully we'll be alright with the other test and get what we need. I was looking for two oh four seven four. I think the rain is supposed to get like six inches. No, it's not easy. Yep. Oh, my God. Clearly they're going to be a thing. I assume so anyway. stuff. You've got a hell of a fever. Are 
those burn marks on your chest? <sighs> I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Uh, because I couldn't be a contortionist with my fingers. Um. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. Arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Why? Well, all right, bro. <laughs> Why didn't you do that the first time? I had to pick and choose. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Probably should have disinfected first. I'm stupid. I'm using anti-burn ointments on your cuts. That should ease the pain. Gotta be slow with it. Your wounds are disinfected. My finger's slipping. Okay, we good. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. What's Madison? I'm not sure what's her connection. How do you feel? I've been better. Believable. Was I out for long? About three hours. 
Why the Guardian Angel Act? You don't even know me. Yeah, you're ungrateful. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? I, um, <clears throat> I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, it's not easy. That's the second time I found you in a bad way. You always seem to be running for your life. What's happening, Ethan? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be asking you questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. <clears throat> Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. I no one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. <clears throat> right. I'm gonna go. Take care. It's the third one. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back, the middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning, the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if...
Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. I know you don't want to protect the murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Doctor, a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. He's right. Legally, you gotta Let tell us go. what you mean. You... You have no right! I hit the wrong button. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. Yeah, I was just right there, wasn't it? Cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid! I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're gonna stop this shit right now! Let's go, uh... Sir? You for this, Jaden. <laughs> don't worry. Jayden. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He feels responsible for his death sort of morbid neurosis he is haunted by visions of drowning bodies a few weeks ago after one of our usual sessions I found this on the floor it must have fallen out of his pocket well oh, I thought I had to walk over there I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. He really ain't, though. I think it's that detective. I don't even know what day this is. Like, the number of days. We have four days to find him. I kept Lauren in the dark on this one. I'll pick her up from her place later on. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club.
This guy looks shaky. Must be the father of the other dude. The balls are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Hell, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I wonder if the assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Grant. The swing of my controller. I thought that was. Him. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. <clears throat> well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. His with voice all due respect, Mr. Action. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. trying to buy me let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies how much do you want to leave my son alone I think you misunderstood me I don't play that game you don't go near my son mr. Shepard. if you do you'll regret it have a nice day mr. Kramer Yep, halfway there. I don't think I've been doing nothing too while, well, like the uh, driving against traffic. I'm at the rat situation. Porcelain lizards? Here. They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. Gotta be doing this for a reason. Mm hmm. Two green and a silver.
I will sit down. Let me look around first. Okay, gas. find something to cut my finger off. Okay. That'll do it. <laughs> 